All right, guys, we are back on Minecraft server with Church Mag. I'm just hanging out here by the gals. Hello, gals. I think it's time to kill some of them. Sorry to say, it's true. Gotta go, guys, gotta go. I need your experience and your leather. Please give it to me. This is one of the best ways I've found to get leather. You just, it just takes a little extra time, unfortunately. But that's okay. So today I want to do um, a little cleaning up and a little bit of preparation and a little bit of sightseeing all at the same time. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about what we're cleaning up with. Um, we are going to go and tear down the extra life sign that we put up. Um, if you wanted to see some of that, you can check the link below. I'll put a link to that where I talk about what extra life is just in general um, but it's also important I wanted to talk to you guys about what happened what all went down with the whole extra life stream so we'll get into that here in just a minute I think I probably need to make shears because it's all a whole bunch of wool so let's just do this that'll be good um, I'm going to put this in here because I don't really need these myself. Jump up. Oops. Jump up. Jump up. Um, so we were able to do the Extra Life stream. We raised $500 for uh, Extra Life. And even your um, your guys' contributions helped get us to that point. Um, a very humble brag of we got to because of you guys we were the top donator for the group um but we did meet our extra life goal of 500 dollars, which is really cool um it was a lot of fun to play i actually played for nine hours myself which is just a really long time i realized i just put that minecart in my ender chest and now i need it of course i do isn't that how it always works? Here we go. Might as well just grab them both, huh? Just to have them. All right. Um, so it was really cool to have the experience to play with these guys. Um, I played with a bunch of people from the Minecraft Theology. And the Minecraft Theology uh, team that I played with was um, four other guys, I think five other guys, and then one of the guy's daughters played with as well. But they all raised money for the charity as well. And um, we played a lot of different games. There was, I, like I said, I played for eight hours or nine hours. I got to do a lot of co oping stuff. So basically, if it was a game that you could play with other people, I was playing it. Um, but some of the guys actually played a single player a lot, and so there was a lot of effort into that as well, which was really cool to see them just kind of doing single player stuff the entire time. Um, here, let's see. So we're going to be taking that down for the kids. Hashtag, since the Extra Life stream is over, in a minute we are going to go, I think, right over there. To see a Halloween design that hopefully he hasn't torn down yet. Um, I haven't. I've only seen screenshots of it, so I'm excited to go see that. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do today is we are going to head out to go get snow, or at least start to get snow. Um, snow, and then maybe some ice or packed ice. I'm not exactly sure yet. Ooh. I'm going to need a pickaxe. Duh. Well, I guess we can... <laughs> We're going to have to make a pickaxe out of the iron that we currently have on us and this wood right here. Seems like the smart thing to do. So, we played the, a whole bunch of different games with the crew. Um, the first game that we played for Extra Life was, let's see, what was it? We got to play, let's do this too. Just build a whole bunch of those. 
Um, the first game we played was Rocket League. So it was a fun one. If you ooh, if you've never played Rocket League, the idea behind the game is um, essentially that it's soccer but with race cars um, that sometimes have special powers to kind of play. Um, it is fun, but it, you have to be a little bit good at it. Not like great at it, but you have to be a little bit good at it. None of us were really good at it at all. Um, so it was just kind of more of a funny environment. A whole lot of talking. If you've ever seen me play my Let's Plays with co-op for other people playing on my personal channel, it was just a whole bunch of like kind of fun dialogue. It really kind of reminded me whenever I was younger where we play video games, but when we played the video games, we were as much having a conversation as we were actually playing video games. We were making memories while playing video games. And so that was kind of the big focus it felt like when we were doing this. It kind of took me back to that, not childhood, but like co late teenage, early college kind of um, experience that I've had with video games. So just hang out with a lot of people that wanted to have fun playing video games talked a little bit about Jesus but just really kind of just had fun in general we were the mission really was raise money for children so um, I think we accomplished our goal pretty well with that it was fun talking on the back channel with some of these guys of um, they felt like they just had a lot of fun they needed that time they really wanted to um, have a laugh they were exhausted from work or just life in general or just hadn't played video games in that manner for a really long time and so that was a really big deal and actually i would say for me that's the first time i played video games for more than like two hours at a time except for the star wars game um that had come out i really hadn't played that much video games um probably played more video games in those two days because it was over a 24-hour period of time um, I played more video games in that period of time than I had played for probably a month in a single month. Um, maybe that's not a hundred percent true. Maybe I played close to, but it's just interesting, like to have that kind of a schedule for yourself and to be able to do that, to pull it off. So that was a lot of fun. The second game we played, if you've never played, this is a game called golf with friends. And uh, so it's like the exact opposite kind of game. Um, the Rocket League game is much more fast paced. You have to kind of be on your toes. You have to kind of know what you're doing. It's not, it's definitely don't go playing with a whole bunch of um, people that are really good at the game because you will get lost in the process um, unless you're playing with a whole bunch of amateurs yourself, which, it, which is what we did for the most part. But then... Uh, the golf with friends was a whole lot different. It was much more slower pace. It was it was you against other people, but it was you against other people knowing that you were your biggest enemy in that process. They couldn't necessarily stop you. So we played a whole bunch of different courses with that. It was a lot of fun. Um, and if you guys are interested and you really want to watch it, I recorded my vantage point on this whole game um, gameplay. Um, put it up on my Patreon. It is only for the patrons who are supporting me for that but if you're interested you could go watch that um if you missed the live stream itself and so it was a lot of fun if you've never played golfing with your friends basically the idea is you're given a whole bunch of courses and you can play traditional golf where it's just you're trying to get a um get the ball in the hole you can play where there's collision on and so obviously you're playing against your friends you're gonna um sabotage or kind of mess with them a little bit uh, there's also the option where you can kind of change physics, change the, your ball. So obviously there's a normal golf ball, but then you can also play where you have completely weird geometric shapes. So like a flat star, a disc, a cube, a cone, which makes it almost impossible to play the game, but it's a lot of fun just kind of being silly with it. Um, so that was a lot of fun as well. Ooh, there we go. So it was just a, it was a really good, fun conversation that we were having with everybody as we were playing, just talking with each other um, and getting to interact. So there were some comments on the stream, um, not a ton, but it wasn't necessarily needed either just because we were having a lot of fun as we were playing. And I think that for me, the biggest takeaway was just those comments about how they really needed that 
that fun. They needed that time together as a team. Um, if for some reason it was something that was missing. And I love that idea of soul care. I love that idea of being able to take care of yourself and how video games for some people are that ability to have soul care. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to kind of see that happen in person and to get to be part of that process, to be able to feed into that for people. Oh geez, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, and it w it's always an interesting thought process because there's a lot of people that would say video games is not soul care. It is not something that you can actually improve your faith with. You cannot improve your um, ability to think clearer, to feel more comfortable in yourself. And I personally would disagree. And I think that that video game experience was kind of a see, see what I mean kind of thing. Uh, it kind of just showed that that is possible. And I think, I don't think that video games are necessarily meant for people that that's weird. Let's just fix that right now. I don't think video, Ooh, Ooh, sorry guys. If you're watching this, I don't have the other stuff on me. Um, I don't think the video games are meant for people that can't do that kind of thing. And that's okay. I literally had a friend um, that I was with today, at, or a coworker that had said, um, I've never played a video game in my life. And they kind of scoffed at the idea of video games. It's fine. It's not your cup of tea. I'm not here to win you over. I'm also not here to defend myself of why I play video games. Um, there's such a negative stereotype, but what I can say is there was a lot of good experiences in that. So I feel like um, there was definitely a lot of um, honoring God and honoring um, the children that we were doing the fundraising for. I think, I think that definitely happened that day. All right, so we got it down. Everything's off there. Really quick, I, that took much longer than I expected. That's a phone booth right there, by the way. Um, so we're gonna come over here to Red Top's house. I haven't talked about the second part of the video gameplay, but we're gonna come over here to Red Top's house. Uh, he decorated it for Halloween. I saw the outside, but I haven't seen any of the inside yet. <laughs> so he has a spider out front. How cool is that? Oh, that's so fun. I'm going to give him the gift of a couple shears. Is there anything else? Ooh, he even has the spider legs. That's so cool. I love it on both sides. Before we go in, I want to go around back and see. So the other thing I was thinking of, and we probably won't get a lot of that this done today. Ooh, I'm not going out there with a the creeper back there. Um, the other thing I wanted to eventually do is to start working on some either Thanksgiving or Christmas. I totally missed Halloween. Did not do any decorations in town, but I think Christmas um, would be a great one. I was thinking the idea of maybe for uh, Minecraft theology doing like a nativity scene. I think that would be really cool. Like a, not a traditional, or not a like actual nativity scene of where Jesus was. Well, you could go to the Bible lands for that, but like a 20th century, 21st century live nativity reenactment that we do here in America. Um, so we would need to get some supplies for that. All right, so he said he had some decorations. I'm not sure what they looked like. And maybe he already took those down inside. I don't know. I think that's new. I think those different colors. Let's try upstairs. <laughs> I like the fan that he has. Maybe he just updated some of the inside decorations. I like it. He's been going crazy with that concrete stuff. Doing a lot of work with that. Let's at least look the spider. So good. Ah, I love it. Oh man, that's so good. I love it. 
Cool. So I think we're going to definitely have to do a Christmas nativity design. So I think let's go ahead and at least head out to the Christmas area. Maybe we will set up the next episode. We won't actually do anything until the next episode. Um, and then we'll craft some Christmas stuff on the Minecraft theology episode. Um, Christmas, how about this? I'm, this is me, this is my own little thing, but there's no scripture that says something about this, but I am one of those people that is a huge fan of waiting to do Christmas stuff until after Thanksgiving, and so not putting up all your Christmas decorations until after the um, Thanksgiving holiday season is over with. Hmm. I think for now, I just put this all in here. Yes. And for now, put it all that's in there. That's Let's take this, put that in there. Do I have it? Oh, I do have a crafting bench. Maybe we'll put a crafting bench right here. Um. What do we need? I'm going to steal one of these shovels and silk touch pickaxes. Beautiful. And is that it? I think that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and travel out to the snow biome. Um, we probably won't worry about the compact ice today just because it's going to be kind of difficult to get there. Um, but we will. Hello, buddy. No, I don't want to fight you. That's not nice. Um, we will go over to the snow area where we get some more snow. Um, so that we can kind of lay down Christmas here at the Capitol. What we're thinking of is... At least what I suggested was let's take this basketball court out or cover it up with snow and maybe make this kind of like the Christmas tree area. And then <clears throat> thinking about maybe over here while the snow's here, taking out all this grass and making like the nativity scene here or something like that. Um, <laughs> I was originally thinking we could get some villagers since we got a whole stash over there and making like Mary and Joseph and all that stuff. So I think we got a lot of fun stuff going on there. Oh, we do have a direct connection to Snowfair. Awesome. I don't think I've showed this area off. So we're here and this is um, Gigatar's base over here. It's a castle that he's made. Um, there's a whole entrance over here to go do stuff. A lot of cool things out here. I don't want to destroy his compact eye stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. He's got a lot of stuff out here I haven't even looked at. He's got the tree in the middle. So good. Got a little store. I haven't even seen the undying stuff. Packed ice he's already got. So good. Polar bear. So I think what we'll do is we will go if this is the circle here. I wonder where the where's the polar bear? Got this wide area and we got the castle. So we're gonna go away from the castle over here and just steal some snow over there. So let's see, which way is the castle? <laughs> I'm gonna get so lost over here. It's gonna be sad very quick. He's turned a lot of these places into like little houses. I don't think he's done a ton with the houses. Oh no, he has. Dude, this is so good. I love it. Ah, that's awesome. Let's see, what else do we got? I don't know how many of these things he's turned into houses. 
So this might be going towards the castle or away, I'm not sure. Oh, he's got a whole bunch of beacons. That's cool. So there's the castle. There's a greenhouse there. What is this? Another store? Uh, auto fishing farm. So we want to go this way. Ooh, there's a portal. Uh oh, what's this for? Just water. Alright, so we do want to go towards the polar bear then. I love how he has this designed. Anyways, the conversation about the um, extra life stream, the idea was we would try to really work hard on um, filling some time slots. So me and Tim Baker had previously on my personal channel done a series in Sky Factory. It was Sky Factory 2.5 beforehand. So we jumped on and we decided I, I got a server for us to share and did a Sky Factory 2 or 3.0. So it's updated. We hadn't done the updated version yet. So we gave it a shot. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's just go around that. Um, and it was a lot of fun. We got to set up a world. If you've never seen Sky Factory, it's modded Minecraft. And all you're given is a piece of dirt, a tree, and you have to make a whole world out of it. So there's a lot of ways to create dirt, to create more trees. It's a whole lot of bunnies. And really try to make the most of what you can with the automation stuff. And it's really, really fun. I loved it. Um, I think I'm going to start with the ice. Because then it can just freeze over again. Um, and so that was a whole lot of fun to do. Now if I do this, I believe, let's see. Because if I do this and then I go, yeah. I might have did too much. Cool. So I can do that. So I'm just going to pick up all the size. Um, so we play a lot of Sky Factory. We actually got to the point where we were getting a lot of iron. We were getting a lot of extra materials. And then we got to the end of our time slot that we, were, that we had. And we were going to switch it off. Um, but because I bought the server and I had to, I got a special discount for three months um, at a really reduced price, um, I still have the server. So I think we're going to do another series of modded Minecraft, which will be a lot of fun. Um, but that time was really good because it was me and Tim. Tim is a pastor in Nashville, and him and I just have a lot of commonalities of viewpoints of faith and geekiness and... Um, what that means for the church and I really just love working with him so that was a whole lot of fun oh so good I only have to sacrifice a little bit of ice to do this so that's done this is kind of tricky I'm sure there's a much more efficient way of doing this, but this is what I'm doing. There we go. One more. All right. That's fine. Cool. And it's already freezing over. So we'll come back to that here in a second. Now here's what I'm afraid of with this is it's going to do that and then it's going to do that. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. I'm going to have to do this right. I know you can also do a snowman and get the snow from him. So I may have to also do that. We'll see. Um, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Did you guys watch the Extra Life stream? What do you think about playing video games? A, for charity. 
Um, but then also be just being able to relax because of video games, being able to find friendships because of video games, being able to find people that you care about that have similar ideas just like you do. Um, is that something that makes sense? Is normal? I'd love to kind of pick your brains about that. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Bye.